Welcome to episode 10 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Distant Worlds 2. We're playing as the Tekans. Specifically, we are playing as the Daz Tekan Guild. Uh, where does it show that? Over here. <laughs> Daz Tekan Guild's back in through this side. Our cash flow is going backwards because we've just taken over this Xenox colony back over here. Another Xenox colony to take over here. There's no great rush in taking that one. I did want it to sort of break into here. Now, one thing we have is that we've got the... Boscarans are back out this side, and I was half thinking of trying to take this world, but I don't think I will. I had a quick look at the, before I started, I'm thinking I'm going to have to reshuffle a little bit the way that my armies, my, my actual ground forces are working. And we might as well use the Xenox to actually do the attacking, because they are much, much better than using rats. Cats are better than rats. <laughs> I did just rename the episode 9 to Rats versus Cats. Uh, and so we've got cats that we can sort of then make use of in here. And so if we have a look at our forces, ours are basically around about the 70 odd mark, you know, in ter terms of its attack and defense for, for, the, uh, for the actual troops. We also, unfortunately, don't have access to the, um, to the robotic forces, which are normally in here somewhere. I think they're in, normally in between here. So there must be a, a link that's not quite that we haven't come across yet that's like the, because the paths do shuffle so it just may not be there for us and so i'm assuming actually that's yeah that's sabotage planetary defense units i do want to get these hmm we also have the long the heavy rail guns as well i've already got a lot of stuff i've got queued up i'll, I'll just keep it going i think Keep it going. Keep it going the way that we are. Keep the plan. But I am thinking that this planet, even though they're they're quite negative about being taken over, uh, this will actually end up coming quite good and quite quickly, I would think. So let's just keep these. We'll keep our rat forces on the actual planet itself, and then we'll get cat, like we'll get cat. Um, infantry uh, at this stage, and then we'll probably end up building different things in here as well, like build facilities. I'm thinking I do build one of these fairly quickly as well, just to sort of get things working fairly fairly substantially. And I might start, I might build one of each of these, the armoured groups and also the clone facility. So let's go with armour and with troop cloning. That way we can sort of get um, all three of these facilities on this particular planet. And this, uh, this one can then feed our armies. And I think we're, because we're gonna be doing that one, we'll, um, we'll just go back to the home world uh, the other, sorry, the reason for that is that if we have a look at the uh, at the actual planet itself and go across into managed troops, we can go and build a group of Xenox in through this side infantry. You can see there their attack and defense is it's 105, which is certainly better than 65. So it's uh, it's got to be the it's got to be a better better result for us. So let's just you just go and throw another couple of those in. Just we've got a, a couple just to get sort of started with. And so these are the robo guard forces and these are going to be certainly much much closer to what we need to be fielding in our actual armies than the um and also when we do get the armor the armor will also be more powerful than the um than the tekan armor so that will be what we do now if we end up with stronger forces again like if we look at the kydian colony in fact if we have a quick look at these galacticopedias and go across to the alien race and races now the kydians what do they have when they they're at 128 so the Xenox we saw there were 105. So you know, it's, even the Kydians are, are better, but I just don't like the quality of that that particular planet. That's a that is a problem. Um, it would allow us to then go and settle other worlds by having them. I think what I might do is I might just also go around and change all of the all of the worlds so we don't start to, so we can keep everything uh, fairly. Not homogenous. What's what, what's the opposite of homogenous? We want to keep specialising on the different planets. So let's just go back into our home system and just stop everything else from actually coming and settling here. If sandy deserts aren't uh, aren't suitable, there has been a suggestion put out for um, for the uh, like to be able to sort of not just have an apply this policy to all colonies, but to have it apply to all colonies of planet type X. You know, like whether it be sandy deserts or rocky deserts type thing. So I'm just going to go and make sure that nobody, so we're going to possibly, yeah, do not accept, I think, for everything, except for the Tekans. So we'll just, we'll make, and we'll make this, so apply this policy to all colonies. So this one's now just applied to our home colony, but let's go and apply it to all colonies. That way we're not going to, we do actually have, you've know, got two group, different groups of Tekans, which is fine. 
So apply that policy to all colonies. Now, uh, this will then just mean that the actual policies that we have at each colony will now be set that way. So if we have a look at this one in through here as well, we'll then just sort of see that everything else has been set to not accept other, other factions. This is now, we have to do the opposite when, on our Xenox world. So we are micromanaging this slightly, which I, ne I don't normally bother with this, but I can see this being actually a, um, it could become quite important. So let's not mix, like, because they are, the, the Tekans are not going to be wanting to live on a frozen world. Like if you look at this one, it's it's um, plus 42 for Xenoxes, but it's not that much for um, for the Tekans themselves. So let's just go across to their racial policies and we'll just go that do not accept Tekans, but definitely accept Xenox. So the Xenox can sort of work themselves in these frozen worlds, but we won't bring anything else in at this point in time. Uh, the Kydians like a different sort of planet as well. I think that they like uh, the same things as humans, which we don't have any of those either. And what sort of world do these live on? These are are these frozen as well? No, these are um, forest planets. Okay, the Naxilians. Now, if the, I was thinking of if we took the Naxilians, that their their basic attack is twenty more than the Xenox, so they would be even better troops. But I don't think we have to rush that. I think we can just sort of, um, like particularly because this is inside Bos Boscaran territory, I prefer to try to keep our distance. It's hard enough for them to come through this this system. So we'll just keep it where it is, I think. Now we can go and take this other colony and, gee, do I want to do that just yet? What's our money situation like? We've got negative 18,000 here at the moment and that's all coming because nothing has had a chance to really pick itself back up. So let's just sit back and wait. Let's just unpause the game and continue on. So just as a bit of a backstory, what we've done is we started off in the Pleiados system. Uh, we have uh, our main planet is through is Daz Tiki Prime. We the other Daz Tikan guilds, uh, like a mercantile guild. So we want to be mining and doing different things. We haven't actually had to override any of the mines at this stage. Everything is is performing quite nicely. Oh, gee, I didn't realize that the, we had Boscarans here. I thought that that was somebody different. Boscara Empire encountered. Okay, we've encountered a new empire in the, in the Vera system, the Boscara Empire. This empire is, is predominantly composed of Boscarans. The Boscarans are naturally very hostile towards us, so they, they hate everyone, but, yeah, particularly us. <laughs> Initial communications of the Boscaras have been moderately successful. The Boscaras are open to further discussions with us, so research projects are available on our tech tree that can increase our understanding of the Boscara. We should research these projects to improve relations with them. Now, I wasn't expecting to see them right here. Um, this is an issue, guys, this is an issue. Let's just pause that for a second. So this is, we, know, we now know that, they, that they're in here. God, I really wasn't thinking that they would be there. I thought that we were looking at the Xenox Dominion with that color. We don't know where the Xenox actually are. I don't know where any of them are. Oh, the Xenox are way over here. Wow, they're miles away. What about the humans? Where are they? Uh, no idea. We don't know where the Issian territory is as well, but we found the Is we've, we've located them there. So I think that the humans are out here. I think we've got another Boscaran back out through this side, and now we have a Boscaran force right in the very middle of the of the of this cluster in the center of the galaxy. Um, now this. They're already considered nasty, so they've been taking over colonies. I guess we are as well, actually, if we have a look at it. Yeah, we're, we're, um, we're at negative 9.5 because we've um, invaded independent colonies. If we have a look at theirs, yeah, so they've invaded colonies as well. They did actually integrate one. Hmm, interesting. So they got a plus two with that one. So, interesting. So, um, okay, they're at war with somebody else. Gee, if we could find out who that is. All right, time to do something a little bit different. We are going to grab one of our one of our uh, ships like this one here, which is coming back to retrofit at Wistia One. Okay, let's go and find one of the uh, one of the one of these ships that is so it's retrofitting. Now, where's the others? I want to find any that are out this way, and you can sort of see that they're all in these in these colonies that are just on the outside edge here. And I'm going to bounce them from system to system until we sort of find how big the Boscarans are and who they're at war with. In fact, can we find out who they're at war with? No, we don't. We can only see their relationship. They haven't met the others at all. So we'll um, we'll leave them alone. 
and um, yeah, we will just try to find ourselves one more of the um, one more of these guys. As I sort of hover over them, they'll just bounce out. We have got the um, that's the EX2. It's an EX2 as well. So these will all be wanting to go and, and retrofit. Having said that, that one there is actually not bad in terms. Actually, that is an EX3. That's an EX3. So that's um, this one is actually the new the new type. Uh, the Jerex hyperdrives, so you can go to 400k. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, Bountiful Expedition, which is um, which is back over here, and we're just going to start bouncing into systems and just see see what's where. So let's just go across, and we'll just micromanage this particular ship now, and we'll just keep on bouncing deeper and deeper into territory, and um, until we actually find who they're at war with, and then we'll try to become friendly with whoever that group is. I love the how I love how finding them as a, as a um, as a neighbour has now suddenly completely changed what we have to do with our our colonies that are close by. The fact that we've got colonies this close means that they're probably in here somewhere, uh, which is which really puts us on edge. This is actually now a really dangerous situation for us, and we are going to have to really get on top of this cash flow, which means that we're going to have to be careful about what we do take over. I do want to take this other other Xenox colony as well. Build ships, yeah. That, that's just, just like if the uh, if the AI wants to build them, that's what we'll do at this stage. Yeah. So our expansion could now work against us because of this particular group. I thought that the Xenox would probably be someone we could actually form a relationship with, and it, and that really what the ideal would be to would be to just gobble up a little bit of space, but. We're going to have to smash these guys, absolutely smash them if we end up at war with them. Now, that's, um, let's just pause that for a second. Uh, Menacing Intruders, no, that's okay. We'll just leave that one there. So we've now bounced into this system with the Bountiful Expedition. It's, um, and it's still Boscaran territory. So let's now just bounce across a little bit further. Let's go across to this one. And we'll just keep on going deeper and deeper into, into territory. And just watch the colours. Actually, if I just unclick that. Actually, that should have... Yeah, that's okay. Probably just do it this way, I think. Just to get rid of the uh, shading. Now it's probably also going to mean that we're going to, we, we, if they do send invasion forces, the Boscarans, we're going to have to really be on our toes just to make sure that we keep keep um, like them away from the planets. The frigate is under attack by Gravelex. That's okay. Let's um, Gravelexes shouldn't really worry us too much. Yes, the Gravelex is taking a lot of damage from our ships. It's the Vorta cars that are the issue for us. Yep, that won't really worry us at all. So when we go a little bit, little bit deeper, and we don't need to explore. I just need to get the colours, just get a bit of a feel for um, for who's who in the zoo. That's also Boscarin. Let's go this way. And it says IG87. It means that there's we don't there's no um, nothing really in there. Also, wouldn't mind finding out where their where their planets are. Would be in interesting as well. We'll eventually do that, but by just sending these out across, we will actually end up. Um, getting a bit of a picture, even without really doing any sort of in-depth exploration. We need to find out where they are. And we're ne going to need to bolster the um, this fleet in particular, I think, as a defensive fleet. We've got two defensive fleets at the moment. We may need to re-look at what we're doing here because we're going to have to find a way to um, completely defend these planets. 
which means do we go in now and pick up the um, the troops the planetary defenders where is it that's not down that way planetary defense units I'm thinking that this could actually be really, really important. You can see there the defense is only 78 with these one just being Tekans, but if we again, again put it on that Xenox world, at least they've got a chance to um, to dominate. Yeah, we're going to have to really probably get both those Xenox worlds, I think, just for, for building troops. Now, if we could get a Boscaran world, we'd be able to then get Boscaran planets, uh, Boscaran units to um, to fight on our behalf. Planetary defense units in through this side. Yeah, look, I might pay the cost for that one and let's just go and get this one up there. Actually, the attack shuttles are probably going to be now more important than anything. Actually, let's just go and move them up um, right up to the very top and the planetary defense after that. Now, the, the, these ones here, I'm just going to go across the attack shuttles and we'll pay for this one. Pay the cost so we can get them fairly quickly. That way we can make sure that the bases that we have here are at least have got some protection. We might have to manually go and build those. Let's see what we've got here. As we bounce in with this particular one. That's still Boscar and Territory. Let's go across this one now. Now our first the second is the one that's really struggling here. They're going back to repair back over this way. What we might do is just go and get a whole lot more of these um, of these frigates and put them into that particular group. So we're just going to go across to the um, uh, frigate. No, actually, the ship's not in a fleet. I've only got three frigates, so let's just go and add those. Join ships to the second fleet. Gives me four. That'll do for now. We've got a couple of these pirate ships. This pirate ship that we picked up, this frigate is actually fairly strong. I might add that to the same same group. Oh, this is now made a fourth fleet. Ah, oh, that'll do. <laughs> I'll create a pirate a pirate fleet. I'll add them to the fourth fleet. So we've got like a, any ships that we happen to take over. I'll just go back that way. So the money is uh, fairly fairly strong. With the attack shuttles coming in. Oh, hang on, we've got this one now. Just need to keep on bouncing across. Got pirate problems as well. Down this way, fair few of them. Now, unless they've got planets really close to the border, we may be able to even, as these grow bigger, we may be able to push them away from the borders here as well. Okay, as we sort of, as these grow, this will be good. How are we going in here? So they're still wanting to be built. These are just still repairing. There's still a bit of repairs to be done on those. These guys aren't happy, but um, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, so these are still under construction. Got a bit to do. Actually, do we have a um, star base there yet? We've got a resort base, but no star base. So I'll build that. 
You spy. Well, this will get interesting, I think. Will we find another color soon? That's interesting. So we've got a group in through this side, which are have been taken over. All right, so they've been invaded. I'll just make this one control zero, just so I've got that particular ship. Let's just keep on bouncing. That's going to be inside their territory, but so who are they at war with? The Xenox must be, they must be down in here, perhaps. They've been taken over some time ago because they're quite happy. Ah, talks. Now, they're, they're, they're not really of any great value to anybody. So there's, there's nothing much that these uh, Boscarans can do with them other than just claim territory. But I'm assuming I'm going to be losing perhaps this system in here, the Vudrin system. We are going to have to defend that, find a way to defend it. Now, it may be that we end up with the attack shuttles, that we end up trying to, um, if we get the large starfighter base, we might just re uh, redesign the small spaceports. And items detected. finding much else there so let's just go back I think if we don't find anything in here what we'll do is we'll set this one back to automatic fully automate and uh, it can then just it can find its own way back for fueling so we've got other ships we've got another one in through this side the this one's only an EX2 that's the Rye Trader that's an EX3 I might just manually now control this one and just get it to also now bounce across. Okay, that's good. And we want to find another one that's basically out through here somewhere. It's an EX2. Uh, the freighters. It's a missile escort. Okay, where's our... Frigate, escort, passenger ship. Yeah, they're not there. Okay, we'll send the first out. Now this one is now an EX3, so I might send it out further this way. Actually, if I do that, I can then get it to um, at least bounce from that system to another system. And that is still Boscaran territory there. We need another one down this way. Let's just have a quick look and see. We've got a um, exploration ship there. That's an EX-3. Not much fuel, but let's uh, just keep on going until we sort of find stuff. So let's just move out to here. So we've now got two on manual. Or three, two or three, we can... Three, yep, yeah, we've now got three that we're manually controlling. Now, we don't have any real protections in through this side. We're going to need to get some uh, planetary defense units eventually. This at least this gives us a large starfighter bay, and this will actually be very, very valuable for us. Now, I did want to get destroyers so I can actually use them as effectively as possible. That's going to give us range, and um, ultimately that could actually help a lot. Going 
back that way. So we're just trying to scout more than anything at this point in time, just to get a bit of a feel for what's going on. Sorry, there's just a bit of noise outside. If you can hear buzzing, I don't know what it is. So this, this one here will um, get into this system. So we'll just see if we can find where the Boscarans have actually got their colonies. I'm assuming they're going to be in around here somewhere. Probably here. I would imagine. Because we've seen the colour there for quite some time. So I'm guessing their, their home world will be back in here. Yep, nothing there. Let's go this way. Who, I don't know who they're attacking or who they're at war with, but we are definitely going to be on their radar very, very soon. A very unpleasant surprise. No colour there, interesting. All right, we'll go this way. And will this be their home world? We've sort of bypassed a few systems in here, but I'm half thinking we're going to find them in here somewhere. Nope. The further away from the border they are, the better. But then we have a look, like these will hardly have any impact on the border. This is the one that would be pushing out to there. So it could be that they're even further back. If we have a quick look at the uh, victory conditions. We're way down here and they're coming way up the top. So they've destroyed a lot. Two different Boscarans really quite high up in the in the in the tree there. They've got a better um, they've got much better economy than ours. Our economy is tanking because of the um, because of the amount of of uh, if we can hold on to our territory, our economy will ultimately be very, very strong. That's okay where that is. We've got pirates back in this way. Now, we got. Where's our ships? That one's still on its way. The ship is now also sort of finding things. Let's just keep on going. Where's the other ship that we'd send out this side? That's oh, still on its way. I think this is going to be our arch enemy somehow in this particular series. Will this be the home world? Hang on, surely. thinking oh there's no color there that I thought found that a bit fascinating but I, think, I don't think we're in there yet we haven't got to it build ships yep 
Oh, a frigate has been bought and captured by the infected. Oh no, are they still got around? I thought we destroyed them. Ah, it's still one of theirs. And that's been disabled. This has been disabled as well, and that's also the infected. Damn it, we've lost a few of them to them. Uh, this is the uh, the first pirate fleet. So we need to destroy this frigate. Or destroy these. We can recapture them back. Yeah, we're going to have to micromanage this. And we are out of time, guys. So we're going to have to come back and do this fight in the next episode. We can't let them continue to take over our ships with the infection. So uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.